Hello students, welcome to Exceptional Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to study the previous year question of Organic Chemistry for upcoming exam of UPPGT 2021. So let's move to the question number one. It says, salicylic acid reacts with acetic anhydride to form which of the following? Okay. I suppose everybody knows what is the structure of salicylic acid. This is the salicylic acid. And question saying it is reacting with the acetic and hydride. Okay. So we all know that acetic anhydride is already an acid derivative. So in this reaction, an acid derivative will not react with the acid part of the salicylic acid. It will react with the phenol part. And we know that when phenol and acid react, it forms ester. The acid group will remain as such and the ester will form, form the phenol group. This is why this reaction is known as esterification reaction. The obtained product is aspirin. It is also known as acetyl salicylic acid. So the correct answer will be option number 2. Well, this uh, question can be also accounted by eliminating the options. Let's see how it can be done. Okay. If we take the first option, oil of winter green. Oil of winter green is also known as methyl salicylate. And salol which is option number 3 is also known as phenyl salicylate as we can see in both these structures the ester group is formed when reacting with the acid part in both the structure phenol group will remain as such hence the re as the question is mentioned that acid and anhydride is reacting so it will definitely going to react with the phenol group but not with the acid group so option 1 and 3 can be eliminated itself whereas when we come to the option 4 it's the mustard oil It's a complex substance basically formed from the cyanide group. So it is firstly eliminated. Hence the only option left is aspirin. In which the ester group is formed from the alcohol part. Hence the correct option will become 2. So let's move to the next question.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेज द मोस्ट स्टेबल कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ एन ब्यूटेन विल बी ओके वी नो द एन ब्यूटेन इज ऑफ फोर कार्बन एंड टू नो द मोस्ट स्टेबल कॉन्फिग्रेशन वील ड्रॉ द न्यूमेन प्रोजेक्शन Where the carbon at two position and three position, the one will be below the plane and the other one will be above the plane. This structure is called as Gauss conformation. Now let's see the second structure. Where the methyl group is placed at the one eighty degree. This is called the anti. staggered form the third possible structure of n butane is eclipsed form where the methyl group almost overlap on each other this structure is referred as eclipse structure now when we look at all this structure we can see that in gauss conformation the both methyl group is at 60 degree in case of anti stagger they are at 180 degree and in eclipse form it is almost overlapping so we generally refer to at 0 degree now in this case the methyl group is the bulky group so to become a more stable configuration we see that the there is no steric hindrance between the bulky group and in the case of anti staggered form the bulky group has 180 degree means it is the least interactive or hindered group so the answer become option 4 Let's move to the next question. So the third question says an organic compound which undergoes an halophone reaction gives compound B on reduction with NaBH4. Now this B on heating with sulfuric acid forms compound C, which forms mono ozonide D, and further D on hydrolysis in presence of zinc does, given only ester aldehyde. So the question says an organic compound which goes an halophone reaction, and we know that halophone reaction is only shown either by ketone. or an isopropyl alcohol the given options are all the ketones so it is very difficult to react each ketone with the given reagent and find the answer so we can first look at the product obtaining it is ester aldehyde which we are getting from an mono ozonide now when we we'll generally see that it is a ketone which is on reducing with nabh4 so on reducing ketone it will become an alcohol group which on further heating with sulfuric acid 
so when we heat an alcohol with an sulfuric acid it forms alkene alkene on further mono ozonoid it forms something like this which on further hydrolysis it is forming acetaldehyde so here we will see that there is two carbon on our product so the remaining carbon if we are getting a two yield suppose two mole of acetaldehyde so there will be total four carbons so we can see at the options given us it is a dimethyl ketone it is of 3 carbon now we we'll look at the methyl propyl ketone it is of 5 carbon similarly methyl ethyl ketone it is of 4 carbon and diethyl ketone will also be a 5 carbon so there is only one option that is coming with the four carbon and that is the option number 3 methyl ethyl ketone so we can directly see from the option 3 that whether it is forming an acetaldehyde or not so let's see the reactions it is reducing with nabh4 to form an alcohol further heating with the acid it will form an alkene group after ozonolysis it will form a mono ozonoid compound which on further hydrolysis will form two moles of acetaldehyde so the correct answer will become option 3 so in this question also we can eliminate the options by looking at the number of carbons taken in the reactant and the number of carbons formed in the product now let's move to the next question okay so this next question says that compound a given with the molecular formula c5h8o2 is pentane and with nh2ch sorry here it, it is a misprinting it is oh hydroxyl amine a forms it is something missing here and also given positive iodo form and tollens test which of the following structure is of a c here we doesn't need to react and see whether compound a is reacting with hydroxyl amine to form what the product or what will it form further we can directly see that it is saying that whatever the compound a is formed gives an positive iodo form and tollens test so we know that iodo form test is shown by ketone or isopropyl alcohol and tollens test is shown by aldehyde group so we'll again look at the options in this very option the first option is with a ketone group and an aldehyde group so yes it can be a answer let's look at the second option there is both ketone group 
so it will not it will definitely show idoform test but it will not show the tolerance test so this option will be eliminated now let's move to the third question definitely it has an aldehyde group which will show tolerance test but it is a primary alcohol so it will not show an idoform test so this option will be eliminated now let's see the fourth option here it is also both a ketone group it will also not the answer so the correct answer will become the option number 1 okay the last question says which of the following compound does not react with nhco3 so when metal hydrogen carbonate which is a weak base reacts with an acid it forms salt water and an effervescence of carbon dioxide so in this question we will look at again at the options this question can be solved on the acidic strength here yeah, the first option is picric acid second one is benzoic acid third one is ortho nitrophenol and last one is sulfonic acid the order of acidity can be determined with the easily release of h plus ion in all the options the most acidic compound will be sulfonic acid because it will readily give the h plus ion now the second will one will be benzoic acid the confusion creates between the option 1 and 3 because here it is ortho nitrophenol and here the nitro compound is on ortho and para position so at in both these cases we can observe that here the ortho and nitro position will show the minus i effect more than option 3 because in option 3 this phenol group will form an intramolecular hydrogen bonding with the nitro cell so it won't easily release the h plus ion so the order of acidity will become this so when in option 3 the oh will form an intramolecular hydrogen bonding with the no2 so it won't react with the base so the option 3 will be the correct answer if you like our channel please do subscribe like and share to your friends thank you